Hey guys, this is the Tyler TV. While I'm a bit late, I'm here to tell you that there are subversions of these mu, or also called SVNs. Before I get more into the subject, I'd like to tell you that these mu is an open source project, therefore a group of people can modify source code with revisions. These subversions are generally packed with more features and offer better performance. Now it's actually time to download these mu. So first open up your web browser, go to Google, type in DSMUM SVN and click the link called Automated DSMUM Builds. Now if you don't want to go to Google, you can always click the link in the description or type in builtbot.orphis.net slash DSMUM. As you can see, there are several revisions made by different people and each of them come with a description explaining the change. So now we will be downloading the latest version and since I have 64-bit version of Windows, this is the one I'll be downloading. So download it to wherever you want and click save. Since the file we just downloaded is a .7z file, we can only open it with an unarchiver like 7-zip or a WinRAR. A way to download them is in the description. Now let's extract the SMU. And now open it. Now we'll be configuring the SMU for the best performance possible. For best compatibility, that will be covered in a future video. But first, go to config, frame skip, uncheck limit frame rate, go back. If you want your video to be as smooth as possible, leave this at zero. If you don't mind the video being skippy but also faster, set this to four or higher. Next, go to emulation settings, uncheck everything except for dynamic weekend pilot. So the closer this is to 100, the faster it will be, and the closer it is to 1, the slower it will be. So since this video is about performance, leave this at 100. Next go to 3D settings, use soft rasterizer, uncheck the first three boxes, click OK, go to config, sound settings, the interpolation set it to none fastest sounds bad, but actually this sounds pretty good unless you feel that it doesn't, so it's up to your own judgment, so I suggest you try this out in the real game, and if you see that it sounds bad, you can always set it higher. And everything you should leave as it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching, leave a like if you want to see more of this, and comment saying what you'd like to see next. Finally, don't forget to subscribe.